YouTube. It's your girl Leah back again with another video on today's video. As you can see from the title is another crochet hair review. And today's crochet hair is a hair that you guys have been dying for me to try and I myself have been dying to try. It is the Free Tress Beach Curl Hair. I have it in the 12 inches and it is in the color OT30. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. We're so happy to have you. But let me explain to you how I do my crochet hair reviews. I come on here and show you guys how a hair looks one day in with the hair. So you guys get to see as soon as I install it, how it looks if you do not manipulate the hair at all. Then I come on here with my first week thoughts of the hair. So after I've played around with it for a week and, and see how it kind of adjusts, what my nighttime routine is, how it kind of looks one weekend. And then I come on here with my final week's thoughts on the hair, showing you guys how long I could wear the hair, showing you guys what the pros were, what the cons are with the hair. And it's very important that you guys watch to the end of my videos or at least see the end of my end thoughts on a hair because I've had so many people come on here and say hey I watched the beginning of your Bahamas curl video and you loved it so I ran out and bought it and then I came home and finished watching the video and you hated it at the end of the day so yes fairly important to kind of stay to the end because I do sometimes my first day thoughts of a hair I may love it I love it so much and then I come back one week later or you know three weeks four weeks later and I'm like it's a no it's an absolute no uh so yes if you want to see more, you want to see my thoughts on this hair, stay tuned and see my first day reaction to this free dress beach curl hair. So now I am here for my first day thoughts on this free dress beach curl hair. Now, I'm admitting to you guys right now, I was so lazy with this install. I did not install this hair, nor did I even wash my own hair. I had my hair washed for me, blow dried for me. My mom uh, braided my hair down and also installed this hair for me because I have been so lazy. I was so catered with my last crochet hair. It was right after my accident, so my scar was still healing, so I couldn't wash my hair. I couldn't do all this with my wrist. And then I had my hair straight, and now I'm like, I don't want to even wash my hair. It's like I'm being so lazy. But anyways, I did not install this hair. So I, my mom installed it last night, finished at like midnight. I came home, went to sleep, woke up, and now I'm filming for you guys. So it has been probably 13 hours since I had this installed. So this is my fresh first day reaction of it. And this is how it looks. I have not cut it. I have not done anything. I've slept on it, but that's all I've done. Last night, as soon as I got home, um, I moosed it, of course, as I normally do, and I pineapple it to go to sleep. It was $5.99 a pack, I believe. Yes, $5.99 a pack. And I got to tell you guys, it was so hard to find this hair. I bought this hair on two different sites. So I got a couple of packs of it from Sam's Beauty. I, there was a certain quantity. I could only get like a few packs from samsbeauty.com because they were almost sold out so i ordered some from there and then i ordered some from amazon so i ordered i think two packs from sam's beauty and then amazon only had four packs of it so i ordered four packs from that because i was like i need six packs i i'm just gonna be on the safe side get six packs of the beach curl hair and that's what i did this is all i have left of the hair um i used five and three fourths packs of hair now I love my mom to death, but I think she overused too many packs of hair. I really do. She made her braids extra small. So my braid pattern right now is these braids are kind of curving down. These braids are going straight back. So she made the braids so much smaller than I typically like. Um, so I was like, she was using, she was, I was handing her more packs of hair and I was like, uh, I only brought six. I cannot use more than six. And I don't think you need more than six. I don't really think, to be honest, I think five packs max you would need of the 12 inch version of it. I would have to say my first day thoughts of this hair, just, you know, waking up in the morning and, you know, playing around with it. I love it the first day. I haven't cut it or anything. No scissors have hit this hair. I didn't split the hair. Um, I didn't cut the hair when I was installing it. This is exactly, exactly how it looks and it's raw, raw form. So you're seeing it right now. Um, it's probably uneven in some places. Well, it's not really as uneven. For me not to have cut, put scissors to this hair at all, it's not uneven as you would think it would be. This hair isn't pre looped but it's a lot easier to install than a lot of hairs. I'll say that. It's not pre looped but it's a lot easier to install than a lot of hairs. So um, even though I didn't install this myself, it would have been one of the easier hairs that I've installed. Nile Wave Bobby Boss was it was kind of harder to install. I love that hair, kind of hard, harder to install in terms of the piecings of it. Um, and this hair, it was very much so easy to install. So first day, I love it. Uh, I'm gonna have to come up with a routine with it. I think detangling is gonna be very important in this, but you guys will see how I maintain this hair in a week. 
in my next video. So stay tuned to see my one week thoughts on this hair. So as you can see, it is not my one week thoughts on this hair. Oh no, 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 no. My one week thoughts are stuck on this camera. Now for my one week thoughts on this hair and get ready because this is about to be good. Yes, so um, this camera has given me issues from day one of having this camera, but I love it. It's so inexpensive. However, my one week thoughts of this hair will not come off this camera. So I am doing my three weeks thoughts and my one week thought video was good. It was jam packed. I told you guys a lot of stuff. That video was I, it was the best I feel like the best video ever and it just did not want to work for me so I am doing my three weeks and one week's thoughts. let me go into my one week thoughts because I had a lot of things written down for my one week thoughts about this hair um my one most important thing that I really wanted to talk about was that my first week with this hair I got tons and tons of compliments I would have to say hands down most complimented hair that I've ever tried on my channel point blank period like from everybody at my job I have different you know ethnicities I have um um, Caucasian people, African American people, uh, uh, Asians, uh, Hispanics, all different races and for them to all give me compliments on this hair. I got a lot of questions from the Caucasian people about can you straighten it and all that, all those kinds of questions and so it was so funny and so great to see people really love this hair. For So for me compliment wise and looks wise has a big thumbs up in that first week. I still get compliments too. It's still three weeks now. Not as many as I got that first week but I still get them. They trickle in you know from the randoms but something I did talk about and I really did harp on in my first week thoughts of this hair was the shine of it. Now I get a lot of questions about does your free tress hair get shiny and I didn't really notice it outside of the water wave hair. Free tress water wave was extremely shiny. This hair I did notice it a little bit. In that first week I kind of did notice it. After I filmed my first day thoughts I was at work one day and I looked in my mirror. My mirror at work is a three times magnification mirror and I was just looking and I was like why does this look shiny a little bit? So yeah, I would say that first week I did notice a little bit of shine come through with this hair. Um, but as you can see now, it's nowhere near. So I think that first week I had to ride out that shiny period. If shininess is something that you're not really a fan of, just rake your hands through it. Just really rake, rake, rake. It'll pull the curls down a little bit, but I think it definitely does get rid of that shine or just wear it over time because it, trust me, I mean, it doesn't stay shiny for long. And if that's something that's a hang up of you, just be aware. It does get a little bit of shininess, but trust me, It'll go away soon. Now I want to talk to you guys. I get a lot of questions that people in my videos keep rewatching some of my videos and saying, oh, is that the Presto curl in your hair? Definitely looks very similar to the Presto curl. And ironically, I took a picture of me wearing um, this hair and then I have the same picture of me wearing the uh, Presto curl, wearing the same exact shirt. And I'll insert that picture right now side by side, me wearing the same exact clothing and how these hairs look side by side. And I would have to say they definitely do have a similarity about them. I would have to say though, if you guys are trying to look for a comparison, Comparison of hair. Go Go Curl, Presto Curl, and Beach Curl, how they look. I'd say I'd say Go Go Curl is the grandfather curl. So it's a much looser kind of curl. Not super loose, but it's the looser of the three. Presto curl, a smidgen, a smidgen tighter. Not that much tighter than the Go Go Curl, but it's a smidgen tighter. And I'd say Beach Curl, even more so tighter than the Presto Curl. So I think there's levels to the looseness of the curls. Grandfather curl, like I said, go go. Presto curl a little bit tighter and then beach curl a little bit tighter than presto curl and go go curl at the same time. So if you're looking for kind of a, a why do they look so similar? I can actually tell the difference between the hairs this time which is crazy because if you see my Outre Deep Twist Bahamas Curl Bohemian Curl videos I can't really see it as much so a difference but I think because I've taken pictures in the same clothing in these hairs I've kind of been able to analyze okay so that's how that hair looks and this that and the third so yes just if you're just looking for reference in terms of how that look. Also the color. Presto Curl, I have to admit this looks very similar in color to Presto Curl. Presto Curl was a TT30. This is an OT30. So what you get with the OT30 is a little bit of black and then the um, 30 color and then what you get in the TT30 color is all of this you know 30 color which I don't know what that TT stands for still don't fully understand it but this is kind of what OT 30 not kind of this is exactly what OT 30 looks like and I got OT 30 in my free tress ringlet wand curl hair too so that let me be aware so if you're trying to gauge what colors mean in free tress hair TT 30 is not going to give you this ombre kind of look OT 30 is going to give you that kind of ombre type of look now I'm probably going to get a lot of questions as well about how I ma maintain this hair you guys know I pineapple and I've gotten questions recently of what about what pineapple means and I'm sorry that I just throw these words out here and I think oh everybody knows what I mean I, I get it some people don't know what I mean so when I pineapple my hair is what I do at night is I pull it all to the top 
I put a scrunchie around it so it's all kind of at the top of my head and then I put my scarf on. So everything I just said is everything I said in my one week thought so you're not missing out on anything. I, I rewatched my one week thought so I can repeat everything I said so people weren't missing out on anything. Now for my kind of three week thoughts I normally don't do three week thoughts but since I'm here on three weeks what have I noticed in three weeks? I'd say it's frizzed a lot more in the last three weeks um, and that has played a part and I have had to really I didn't have to my maintenance with free dress press though girl and you guys know I made a whole separate video for my maintenance with free dress presto curl and for me that wasn't a lot of work that wasn't even though I did you know have to separate have to cut things I have to do all that but for me it wasn't really that much every day you know do 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 with that hair now with this hair I think I've had to do a little bit more day to day with the hair in terms of cutting it in terms of moosing it in terms of making sure it stayed not as dull I think this hair if you guys I pulled this back a little bit but I've raked my hair, my hands through this hair a lot. So I've been in this hair trying to get the tangles out so much so that some of the curls have actually like dropped a little bit. These aren't as springy as these curls just because I am constantly, you know, going through making sure that I don't have tangles. But I have really maintain this hair i'm so proud of myself i'm so much so you guys know about me on my journey i'm so about low maintenance that i'm like generally like if a hair starts going south i'm just over it i'm over it completely but i really worked through this beach curl thing so i would have to say it is a little bit more on the higher maintenance side but you can definitely take care of it if you watch my presto curl um, maintenance video i'd say it's similar to that but i did have to do my separations by cutting my tangles a little bit more frequently than i had to do with presto curl i don't know what it is i would have to say i got this hair a lot more wet than i did the presto curl um this week in, in this last week was Hurricane Irma here um, in the U.S. Um, it mainly affected Florida and, and, and mainly affected the Caribbean. They were highly impacted by this. But um, in the Carolinas, we did get a lot of, a lot of rain. Heavy rain, heavy winded rain. The rain has come like from all angles. Having an umbrella has helped. But child, when the rain coming from left and right, you are getting pelted. So my hair has gotten not so much drenched but it's definitely gotten wet this week um and so i'm gonna really test it out this weekend this next week um in terms of how wet it can get like can i dip my head in water but in terms of like rain heavy rain oh it can definitely withstand some heavy rain you're just gonna have to maintain it afterwards because that i think it rained monday and tuesday of of this previous week and then wednesday i woke up and i saw the most frizz that i saw that's when i kind of like whoop okay let me let me let me get this under control um so yeah i think that's the difference between presto curl and beach curl why my maintenance might have been a little bit different too in recent days only because presto curl i don't think i really got that hair wet i don't think it was that rainy this week super rainy super rainy that umbrella did nothing it was like go by um so yes that is my three weeks thoughts on this hair where like i said i'm going to test it out next week and dip my head in some water and see how that water friendliness comes about but i will show you guys that and the next time you guys will see me hopefully for sure if i don't have to refilm this will be my final final thoughts on this hair so definitely stay tuned to see those Now for my four week thoughts on this hair and also my final review. Now the clip you just saw was me wetting the hair. Now I'm going to continue to play this clip right now. I wet the hair for a continuous two minutes non-stop water flowing on top of this hair to give you guys an idea of how it would look right after water. Now that was yesterday. As soon as I came home from work I wet this hair because I knew I wanted to do this today and show you guys what it looked like the next day after wetting it. And I would have to say looks really really good so you guys know my routine after I wet my hair I wet it as soon as you wet that hair as soon as you get your hair wet this is goes for cruises beaches wherever you're gonna go with your crochet hair it's essential to detangle the hair immediately afterwards um, I think that's what kept my hair together with the Bobby Boss now wave and I think that's what kind of hindered me in my deep twist hair if you guys saw my deep twist I wore that hair on a cruise I was off the ship for like eight hours I didn't tangle it that was my first crochet hair experience the hair looked good but not as good as it could have looked and with the bobby boss now wave i had already had that experience with the crew so so i knew how to handle these hairs when wet and i knew to detangle immediately so as soon as i untouched that water on my way walking up to the room i was 
detangling, detangling, detangling. So last night after I wet this hair, I was detangling, detangling, detangling. That is the essential to save these hairs and to maintain them after water. While it was still wet, detangled the hair, pulled out anything that came with it. Now, um, this morning, what I did was, because when you wash the hair, whenever you get a crochet hair wet, it's going to turn dull. It's going to get a little bit duller. Um, it, you can't fight it with any hair that I've tried and it's been wet. It's not the same lust not shiny it's not shiny because nobody wants a super shiny hair but it does it's very dry looking it's looking as if your hair is super dry the thing that saves it, any kind of sheen spray you don't have to have this this particular one I like I said picked this up at food line one day I was randomly in food line I'll leave it down below but any sheen spray that you like and, and this has braid and extension sheen spray on it spray it on the hair not I wouldn't say immediately following getting wet but it when it's once it's dry and you notice that luster is gone and then also your edge control because when you get your hair wet of course your edges are going to be like <laughs> what was you thinking so that is it that's my little spiel on the water side of it I really wanted to test out the beach curl in water simply because beach is in the title if you're gonna put beach out there you gotta be waterproof you can't be beach proof like Bahamas curl Ruba curl some of the both of those hairs I didn't think were beach approved or water approved um, but they have watery type names so I'm like if I if I get the Ruba curl I better be wearing it to Ruba um, but yeah beach curl Beach approved. It definitely gets my stamp of approval for beach approvalness. Um, I think it still looks fantastic. I am taking this hair out tomorrow, however, because um, my braids, my braids are not in my head anymore this is not the crochet hair this is my braids um so my braids are loosening up they are not as tight like i say i'm not a professional nor the people who do my hair are professionals so i think i have the same issue everybody i know isn't a strong braider unless i go to a professional i'm not gonna get a strong braider but like i said the only reason i'm taking this hair out now is because this braid is loose i have a couple of braids back here that are starting to be loose and i just don't want to deal with the braid falling down i think that i could probably get at least you know six weeks of wear just as long as I did the presto curl and just as long as I did the Altrey bohemian curl I think I could get the same amount of wear with this hair um I would also say though if I were to get longer wear out of it I would have definitely chosen a darker color I think this is the last time I choose a light color for a while simply because I think it shows up for us a lot more than the darker color so the next few hairs that you'll see me do will probably be back into my two routine um, not that I don't like colors because Presto Curl lasted a long time, but I'm thinking about how long Presto Curl would have lasted if I did, if I had a different color, if that makes sense. I really think that colors, although are very pretty, I don't think they have the longevity. And I've noticed that more so with the ringlet wand curl, which you'll probably see after this video. And this hair, I've noticed it very very heavily that the colored hair um tends to show the frizz a lot more so that's my one thing about it if you're not part of the family already make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you guys follow me on instagram at leahlevon89 make sure you're following my shenanigans on snapchat at miss talia89 and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye